Hey everyone, both Mike and myself have been getting lots of requests on how to build more complex components. So Mike went ahead and built a lesson on how to use max and min to make responsive cards that you see right here. This template will be available for download, link in the description. And in order to build this, you will also be needing three components. Uh, again, if you don't have them, not a problem. They're relatively easy components to make. So you have your image placeholder, your text placeholder, and your button. I'll put links in the description on how to build these components, but if you don't have them, it shouldn't be a problem. You should be able to find your way. With that said, over to you, Mike. Not all cards have to be built using slots. We're going to show you how to build an advanced card um, using just some pre-built components from our placeholders. So in this case, we go to our placeholders and we'll grab some elements. Sorry, make sure we grab our local component library. Perfect. All right, so we'll grab our image. We'll grab a copy block. And we'll grab our button. And let's get started. So in this case, we're going to move our image to the left. We'll have our copy block and our button. You can start to see how this is going to take shape. So we go to our layers. We select our button and our copy block, and we'll add auto layout. Simple enough. We'll call this content. Then we'll grab our image and we will add auto layout again, shift A, and we'll call this card advance. Okay, then we'll right click, create component, and we'll drag a copy over here. So the next thing we want to do is make sure all of our nested properties show up. So we've got media, copy block, and button with types. And then we'll add some styling to it. So we'll add our fill, surface, we'll add an effect, drop shadow, we'll add some padding, let's go 16 and 16, we'll change our gap to 16 just to keep everything simple, let's grab our content just to make sure that its gap is set to 16 as well, great. Okay, so let's make sure that our content is set to fill, let's make sure that our copy block is also set to fill. Let's make sure that our button is set to hug. And let's make sure that our image is also set to fill. Okay, so let's test this out. Right now, everything resizes. Perfect. Looking good. But what we want to do is make sure that when it gets too small, that the copy here goes underneath the image. So we have to set some minimum maximums. So in this case, we'll grab our image. We go up to our width over here and we select our arrow, and we will add a minimum width of 200. And then we'll select our copy block, and we will do the same. Add a minimum width of 200. Okay, and then we select our card itself, and we make sure that the auto layout is set to wrap. Here we can also change our vertical gap if we wanted to. So, as we resize our component, it gets below 200, and now the card stacks. Perfect. We can also set a minimum width for the card itself to 300. This means that when the card resizes, it can't get any smaller than 300. And we can also set a maximum width if we wanted to. So here we have a card that showcases all of our children component properties right here. We can change button types, etc that is responsive and stacks according to our requirements. Thanks so much for watching today. I'd like to invite everyone to join uicollective.co. You'll get free access to all of our training, all of our courses, access to our Slack channel as well, where you can chat with myself, my partner, Mike, directly for any Figma questions you might have. And you also get access to suite templates like this one, such as our token map. Uh, perfect for design systems, designers looking to uh, organize their colors, their styles, whatever it may be. And that link will also be in the description. Hope to see you soon.